Hey down, please, it's Dave Decide. Today I want to get into Tang or V and I wanted to talk about some hot and spicy comments and his reaction. I also want to get into Jungkook and his spicy moments, but before we do, we do have a sponsor, so roll that clip. I am so excited to say this portion of the video is sponsored by Noom and their program. This is not a diet thing because the goal of Noom and your goal should not be to lose weight or strictly that, but to become healthier. It's a change in how you view food because fat isn't all bad, but learning which fats are is important. Every day in the program, there's a quiz. It only takes like 10 minutes to get through, so they'll ask you questions of why one food is better than the other. And if they both taste kind of similar, knowing why one might be better than the other can help you make those small substitutes in your next salad that is much healthier. It comes with a one-on-one -on -one coaching, so personally from my health journey, I tend to eat a lot of fried food, either when there's nothing to eat or I'm just angry so I need something crunchy. Understanding that with the coach was something that was very helpful at allowing me to make those changes and realizing that sometimes a crunchy apple is just as satisfying for me. I don't eat any less than before and it's really helped me not to be so scared to eat in fear I might not be eating healthy and that's given me a lot of mental clarity and strangely better ability to focus. You also have group coaching. This is like an accountability buddy and almost like a good peer pressure. When you see everyone else doing it, you're more likely to keep going on your journey. In the description, there's a very quick little quiz you can take and help you get a personalized plan Plan, and you can literally start today. So I hope that this is helpful to you and please check them out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Jungkook recently announced something really insane and armies are kind of freaking out over this. Let me give some backstory on what is happening and let's talk about it. BT has recently announced a new app or game that you can download. This is different from the very typical idle games and even different from some of the other apps that BTS has released in the beginning of an idol's career. It's very easy to release those guitar hero types of games. I believe it was BTS Superstar where you just press the dots on screen as they come towards you and it can go very fast. But this new game that BTS dropped seems a little different and they just dropped the teaser for it. It's a game with various activities you can do and the biggest premise of this game is it's going to be like chilling or hanging out with BTS on an island and it's called BTS Island and it seems like you'll be able to watch or do things with them like catching fish or playing games where you match things up. It seems like a lot of fun and definitely a really cool gift to the fandom. There were some parts of the game that recently were screenshotted and posted everywhere and went viral within the community. There's moments where we get some insight on the boys and apparently in the game, Jungkook answers the question, what does he do when he is resting and what does he wear? And his response was just underwear. Now this is what people are alleging online saying that this is in the game. However, I haven't played the game or anything like that yet and wouldn't know how far along the game, Jungkook says this. So take it with a grain of salt, or if you've played it fully, let me know. This is something that people were freaking out about because someone said that perhaps in times where Jungkook is flirting with ARMY on a social media or Instagram, he is probably naked. And I was like, whoa, not my hubby being naked in front of millions of people. But this is probably why when he does the Q&A, he doesn't show his face. It was also funny because there was another moment where J-Hope also allegedly put a message out for the same question. He said, gown, slippers, bushy hair, and bare body. So a robe, but naked underneath. Y'all, Taehyung wasn't kidding back when he said that there's lots of photos of BTS members on his phone, but he can't post them because the members are shirtless. Y'all, what if his phone is backed up by the cloud? The hackers, they could see. He needs to delete them ASAP. Protect the boy's nips. All of this got armies hot and bothered, and as usual, Tang on social media means people will either get an exclusive or Tang will say something that shocks everyone. Tang recently decided out of nowhere to post a lot of his unreleased songs on Instagram. All of them have now been posted on various other platforms, even though it's not on his IG anymore. But he posts really good songs and has mentioned that if you hear the song on IG or whatever, he is likely not going to release that song officially, and he just deletes the song after posting. Thing. And so he only posts the songs that he knows he doesn't like. This is frustrating because various of the songs that he and even the other members release, people are expecting them to be in an album or really like them, and now they'll never see the light of day. Even when armies would quote some of the old songs that Taehyung released, Taehyung won't know the lyrics because he deleted them and probably didn't spend any time memorizing the lyrics, as artists don't typically memorize the lyrics the day they record. So if there's never any plan on putting on an album, they will never memorize 
the lyrics. But also I've seen people say, oh, Taehyung leaked this song on the album. If he posted it, then it won't be released on the album, unfortunately. But this was very interesting and funny when people started to freak out online and trend little snippets and clips of his songs. And people even called Taehyung a perfectionist because he keeps deleting these pieces of gold, basically. I am personally not sure what he doesn't like about the songs that he has already made. It also makes me think that there could be potentially hundreds, if not thousands of songs BTS has recorded that are just gone. In which case, why not make an exclusive mini album out of them and just sell them? I think this could be a little side project and people would like it. And if it's horrible and people don't like it, then it's whatever. It's not the main piece of work. It always bothers me when something that people work on for so long gets deleted. And you might ask, how do I know that they've worked on it for so long? Well, because they're my husband, obviously. No, but because the songs sound produced. There's a beat they either bought from a producer or the big hit producer spent hours making that beat, then remixing and mastering the song. And that's not counting the potential hours it took to write the song and then also not counting studio time. This could potentially be tens of thousands of dollars to make one song only to throw it out. But I think releasing it as a small album can at least make some of that money back and we would love to hear it. It would be something to release in between the BTS albums and stuff. And I don't know, maybe it's just my untrained ear, but it doesn't sound that far off from what BTS releases to begin with. Chan's music sounds similar to Life Goes On or Spring Day. But there was a comment that appeared on Weverse that shocked everyone. Someone called Taehyung daddy and then asked if he was sleeping. However, the daddy part was in English. Taehyung saw the comment and responded back immediately ignoring the daddy part and just saying that he has more unreleased songs and if we like to hear them. So there's two theories here that either Taehyung understood the daddy part and just liked that part, which is why he replied. And if he replies on Weverse, everyone who is on Weverse for BTS will get notified and get a notification. So this post gets blown up, let alone news articles and videos covering it. So he knows the impact of responding to a comment. And funny enough, he chose the daddy one. And then of course, another theory that he didn't know, and he just closed his eyes and just picked a comment and let everyone know that he has some unreleased songs. Some people think that he was flirting with this army as he quote unquote acknowledges being a daddy, but I don't see it as him acknowledging that necessarily. I think maybe it was just the first post on his feed and daddy was also in English. So maybe he took it as a title. Like in Korean, you can call someone older opa. So he might've assumed that ARMY was just calling them their dad. And he just ignored the actual question to just say, anyway, I have other songs. Which by the way, he doesn't even have to ask. I don't even know the point of asking. Release it, do it, do it now. If you have other songs, release those too. Some people were upset at the ARMY for adding daddy in the comment for the most part, I've always seen these sexual comments as something that was meant to be funny, but there's a lot of people who are very upset at these comments toward BTS and very upset at people calling BTS daddy. And I don't think BTS is in any danger and I don't think they care. Taehyung being an example that they don't care. I would call the daddy comments to be equivalent to maybe a man whistling at a woman, but the difference is that a man whistling at a woman is mostly offensive because of the amount of suppression women have felt over the years due to society favoring men, but also the amount of abuse women get from these men that whistle at them, whether that's death or being severely hurt. Also, typically men are bigger, so it's a lot scarier for a woman to have someone who they may not have enough power to physically fight if they don't want that man to touch them. So as you can see there, it's a different power dynamic. But BTS, not only being super buff and strong, they're also big celebrities with the tightest securities in the world. And they're also famous and are aware that a lot of armies want to date them. They're not insecure over a phrase like daddy. Daddy doesn't have a history of suppression behind the work. Also, daddy implies that the man is stronger and bigger. So in every context, the man is still in control, which is not as scary. To which case the comment is literally just a compliment. There's no danger or any alternative meaning. While I understand it could potentially be uncomfortable for them, and I have personally stopped calling the boys daddy or things like that, I can also understand that these people who are saying it are just making an attempt at a joke. And I really believe that the people calling BTS daddy, even given the chance, would never even hurt the boys in any physical capacity. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you, boss.